Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's email newsletter geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. Check the show notes for links to all of our stories. This is Effector Volume 35, Issue 2, titled How to Fix the Internet Returns for a New Season. This issue was published on Friday, February 10th, 2023, and I'm your host, Member Outreach Assistant Christian Romero. Let's start with our top feature. New podcast episode, Don't Be Afraid to Poke the Tigers. Our podcast, How to Fix the Internet, is back. In this season premiere, researcher and hacker Andrew Bunny Huang speaks with EFF Cindy Cohen and Jason Kelly about how we can have it all, from better phones to cooler drones, from handy medical devices to fun Star Wars fan gadgets, if we're willing to share ideas and trade short-term profit for long-term advancement. Now, let's go through some EFF updates. For our first update, setting the record straight, EFF statement in support of FCC nominee Gigi Sohn. The public deserves an EFF commissioner who will fight for net neutrality, for rural broadband access, and for strong internet infrastructure. Gigi Sohn has been a fair and balanced advocate for public interest for her entire career, and it is past time to let her go to work helping build a better internet for everyone. Next up, EFF tells Supreme Court, user speech must be protected. EFF has filed a brief as part of Gonzalez v. Google, urging the Supreme Court to preserve free expression and ensure that Section 230 continues to offer broad protections of internet users' rights. Up next, right to repair advocates have had good victories. We have to keep fighting. The incredible lobbying effort mobilized against right to repair laws, as in New York, shows that companies will make public promises, but privately don't want to be held to them. That's why anyone who cares about right to repair should take this year as a sign to keep on pushing. Next, California law says electronic search data must be posted online. So where is it? The public should not have to file CPRA requests over and over again to receive electronic search data. The California legislature wrote a law establishing that this information must be available online, and the California Department of Justice must follow it. And for our last update, Stupid Patent of the Month, Digital Verification Systems, Patents, E-Signatures. This month's Stupid Patent of the Month has been used by a company called Digital Verification Services to sue more than 50 companies that provide different types of e-signature software. And now we've got a handful of announcements. First up, EFF Austin, Digital Privacy at the Texas Legislature. On February 14th, join EFF Austin and Kathy Mitchell to discuss bills and developments related to digital rights and privacy at the Texas Legislature. Up next, NICAR 2023. IRE's annual data journalism conference is taking place in Nashville between March 2nd and 5th, and includes a panel on the Freedom of Information Act with EFF investigative researcher Beryl Lipton. And for our last announcement, EFF at Scale 20X. EFF is excited to be back in Pasadena, California for scale. Stop by the EFF booth to chat with some of our team and learn about the latest news in defending digital freedom for all. And now, let's go through some job postings. First up, General Counsel. EFF is looking for a full-time, energetic, and passionate General Counsel to lead the organization in identifying and analyzing its internal legal risks and needs. Next up, Security and Privacy Activist. EFF is looking for a security and privacy activist to work on the surveillance self-defense resource, as well as a range of actions around digital security and privacy developments. Next up, Senior System Administrator. EFF is seeking a full-time Senior System Administrator to build and maintain the organization's digital infrastructure as part of the Technical Operations Department. Up next, Legal Secretary. EFF is looking for an experienced professional to join our legal team as a legal secretary to support up to nine attorneys in their litigation, appellate, and policy practices. Here's our last job posting. Chief Development Officer. EFF is looking for an experienced professional to lead the organization's fundraising programs. The Chief Development Officer also serves as a member of the senior management team and works with the board of directors. And now it's time to go through some mini links. First up, Be real or be stalked. Privacy pitfalls of Gen Z's favorite app. This one comes from Coda Story. While it may seem nice that something like Be Real is free of charge, instead of paying for things in cash, we're paying for them in information. Next up, 
Memphis's Skycop cameras couldn't prevent Tyree Nichols's beating death. This one comes from the Washington Post. When cities get surveillance cameras, police and vendors promise the world that they'll miraculously solve crimes. But it's just a commercial thing. It's just business. Up next, Elon Musk is pulling the plug on a tool that made Twitter great. This one comes from Slate. Elon Musk's decision to end some access to the free Twitter API marks a significant and disappointing shift for the platform. Instead of opening up the site to further interoperability, Musk is further locking it down. Next, digital rights activist Olabini declared innocent by Ecuadorian court. This one comes from People's Dispatch. Victory! The security expert Olabini was finally declared innocent in a unanimous verdict by a three-judge tribunal in Ecuador. Here's our last mini-link. Republican efforts to ban TikTok are a lazy stunt to hide the need for real data privacy reform. This one comes from the Daily Dot. Efforts to ban TikTok will have little effect on the overall data privacy landscape. Only comprehensive data privacy legislation applying to data collectors across the board will do that. And we've reached the end of the newsletter. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to sign up for the email version of Effector, which includes links to in-depth coverage of these stories and more. You can see past issues and subscribe at eff.org slash Effector. Before we end this issue of the newsletter, I just want to let you know that EFF is a member-supported nonprofit organization, and you can help us protect digital privacy, security, and free expression for everyone. Donate to EFF today and even grab a bit of gear by heading over to eff.org slash Effect. That's EFF.org slash EFFECT. You can become a member for as little as $25 or even sign up as a monthly or annual donor. Thanks for your support, and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.